You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 630. We're at the age now where we need our insurance. Hundreds of retired state workers are living in uncertainty and delaying doctor's appointments. They have health insurance, but it no longer covers doctors they trust and critical medical care. In March, Carl Health terminated a contract with Aetna Medicare. Now, more than six months later, our Target 3 investigation reveals Aetna has done little to replace the doctors who were kicked out of network. Meanwhile, Illinois taxpayers are footing the bill for this dead-end directory of doctors. Our investigative reporter, Renee Cooper, has been following the covering the fallout since dozens of patients first reached out in early March. Renee, the more you dig in, the more limited patients remaining options appear to be. Well, Jennifer, that breakup cut state retirees off from Carl Foundation Hospital and its surrounding clinics where Carl employs nearly 550 doctors. At this point, Aetna Medicare plans are no longer accepted at Carl facilities within 50 to 80 miles of Champaign-Urbana, where there's a high concentration of state retirees because of the university. Now, there are remaining in-network hospitals. These are over an hour away in Bloomington and near Peoria. It depletes options enormously. I mean, Carl is the major provider of our community, and it's going to leave people hurting. I mean, it's really, it's, it's really sort of inconceivable to me that there would be a health insurance plan offered to state employees right here in our community that is not inclusive of Carl. Now, Carl's explanation for the breakup with these senior health plans alluded to the fact that Aetna Medicare did not include access to all Carl doctors. That didn't sit well with Carl, although it doesn't appear it was hurting the healthcare giant either. Carl Health has been tax exempt for decades. Its government filings report a profit deficit, but these forms show Carl managed to pay its top physicians million dollar salaries. CEO James Leonard took home $4.7 million in 2020. But there are several players in this story, and although Carl is a staple for hospital services, many of these patients actually count on Christie Clinic for primary care and many specialists. That's why we really started getting inundated with calls when patients found out their Christie Clinic doctors, too, were no longer covered because of their affiliation with Carl's Urbana Hospital. Now, in April, the clinic told us the majority of its physicians were back in network, which still appears to be true, but that's not the whole story. Since that April report, I've discovered those doctors still aren't an accessible option for at least several hundred Aetna Medicare patients. When I called Aetna, one of the operators told me they had a list of 18. Another said they had a list of 22 doctors that were not in. I had to dig and call everybody and <laughs> to find everything out. So what she told me as a recommendation was to call them every day until this was solved. Well, I started doing that, but by about the third day and hearing three stories, my temper got the better of me, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do this. They're basically leaving it up to us to verify what doctors are in the network and who's not. Which is becoming increasingly urgent for Julie Spence, who has been suffering with sleep apnea for a decade. She relies on her Christie Clinic pulmonologist and this machine to keep her breathing from stopping at night. I need to get a new uh, CPAP machine and they're very expensive, so we definitely want to get it under our insurance. But right now, it's unclear whether it'll be covered. This is just the ones he takes. Spetch's husband, Roscoe, worked as a storekeeper at the University of Illinois for about 20 years. The couple relies on his insurance plan for multiple pieces of medical equipment. He needed what they call a transfer bench to get into the tub, and they just told us that the insurance didn't cover it. Then we found out later it wasn't the, because the insurance wouldn't cover it, it was because we went to Carl Medical Supply. I still wouldn't know about it unless... If I hadn't seen it on the news. Melody McDaniel started working at the U of I in 1976. She quickly progressed to a supervisory role in the housing division, working there 30 years before retiring from the state. I wouldn't have traded it for anything. These days, she's spending a lot of time on the phone, trying to figure out if she's able to keep seeing the primary care doctor she's had at Christie Clinic for 12 years. I may not have her by the time October 1 rolls around. Who told you that? My doctor.
<laughs> the clinic last told us they believe an arrangement was reached with Aetna to keep all primary care providers in network. But there's another barrier the clinic failed to mention. If you need to go to a hospital, you need to go to Carl. Clinic doctors have to get what's called admitting privileges at one or more hospitals. The gist is, if you need to go to the hospital, your doctor can only coordinate your care where they have this privilege. That's why Christie providers who only associated with Carl's Urbana Hospital first fell out of network for Aetna Medicare patients. Then, in April, Christie told us its primary care was back in network after, quote, working on additional hospital relationships. They still do. They have a sign up that says, you need to go to Carl. There are two other Carl hospitals that, to this day, remain in network for Aetna Medicare patients. The problem is, both are more than an hour drive from the Spetch's home in Rantoul and the hospital in Urbana they lost access to. <coughs> Meaning, they and countless other patients either have to see an unfamiliar doctor every time they need hospital care or make the burdensome drive. He's been in the hospital, it was in December and again in March. And even though OSF has a full resourced hospital in Urbana, a representative there confirmed not a single Christie provider admits there. I asked the clinic directly, does Christie Clinic prohibit its physicians from having admitting privileges at OSF? They decline the question, but continue to claim the choice belongs to the doctors. It means hardship. They most likely have to have help from family or friends. I do know from my son-in-law who used to work, he used to work his way up to the head of the cardiac department. He said it's very obvious that Carl and Christie are starting to grow together. It's happening in the wake of a dispute between Christie Clinic and OSF Healthcare that traces back four years when OSF first bought the Catholic Hospital. Ironically, at the time, Christie's CEO blamed the disagreement on what they referred to as OSF's spoke and hub model, which meant sending some Champaign-Urbana patients to OSF specialists who were at least an hour away, rather than using local care available at Carl, which appears to be, at the least, similar to what's happening in reverse today. He predicts in the next 10 years they will become one. I can't verify that that's true, but it kind of looks like it with this whole fields complex. OSF declined to comment at the time. Recently, a media relations representative told me, quote, many attempts have been made to partner with Christie, and OSF has no restrictions that would prevent Christie Clinic providers from having privileges at its hospitals. So the confusion does continue, and Carl Public Relations says they do not limit where their providers or affiliated providers can admit. Carl also claims they didn't know Christie doctors would be included in the fallout of its breakup with Aetna. Now, Christie initially declined to comment further, but when given a last chance for a response, an executive told us their gastroenterology and foot and ankle surgery are the only two specialties that remain entirely out of network. Now, that doesn't mean all other doctors are back in network. The clinic only said at least one doctor is in network for each specialty other than these two. And patients are relying on Aetna's doctor directory ultimately, which is still missing several of the doctors that Christy says are back in.